Mons Meg is a massive medieval bombard or cannon. Constructed in 1449 under the order of Duke Philip the Good of Burgundy. This impressive piece of artillery was presented as a wedding gift to James II, King of Scots, in 1454. It saw action during various sieges until the mid-16th century and is renowned for being one of the largest cannons in the world by caliber. The name Mons comes from a town in Hainaut, which is now part of Belgium, while the nickname Meg was added later in the 17th century. The bombard was constructed using wrought iron, and the barrel was made from 25 longitudinal staves of wrought iron, which are held together with hoops that are shrunk into place. The powder chamber is made from small pieces of wrought iron which has been hammer welded together to make a solid piece. The barrel is attached to the powder chamber by a grove on the powder chamber which lugs on the end of the barrel stave fit and then permanently bound together using hoops. It measures 19 inches 480 millimeters, in diameter, weighs approximately 15,366 pounds 6 .6 tons, and stretches 13 feet 4.0 meters in length. The barrel itself is 9.18 feet, 2.88 meters long, while the powder chamber has a length of 3.8 feet, 1.16 meters, and a diameter ranging from 530 millimeters to 590 millimeters. The Mons Meg is capable of launching gunstones weighing between 150 kilograms, 330 pounds, to 175 kilograms, 386 pounds. These projectiles are either made from both sandstone and granite. A gunstone is launched using gunpowder that was loaded into the powder chamber using a copper ladle and compacted using a rammer, followed by a wadding of cloth or straw. A gunstone is then placed at the end of the barrel using a ramrod after which priming powder is placed in the touch hole at the breech end and ignite using a slow match. This detonates the gunpowder and fires the gunstone from the barrel. It can launch this gunstone up to 3.2 kilometers or two miles. Despite its impressive capabilities, it could only be fired approximately eight to 10 times each day due to the extreme heat generated by its substantial powder charge. Like any other royal cannon, in her early years it was coated with red lead to keep it from rusting. In 1460, James II had Mons Meg hauled 80 kilometers, 50 miles, to the siege of Roxburgh Castle. However, it was no small task as even a team of oxen couldn't move her more than five kilometers three miles a day. Eventually, Mons Meg was retired from service in the 1540s and was fired only on ceremonial occasions. It was last fired on October 30, 1680 to celebrate a visit by James, Duke of Albany and York, later King James VII, where the barrel burst, rendering it unusable. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos.